People kind of build our kind of reputation on, you know, we lose finals, we come back and we kind of re-energise ourselves. But I, I don't feel that at all. I feel that football gives me own identity. You know, and the pride and the passion these guys have for their, their county is it's just unique and it's special. And uh, no matter what these guys do over the next uh, couple of months, you know, I think playing for your county, representing your county is, is, uh, is, is a unique thing to do. It means everything. Every young lad growing up wants to wear the male jersey. My first memory of meeting Lee, he was a talented player right from day one. He came in, and he was a nightmare to mark. And right from the first day he walked through the doors in McHale Park, we could see that we had a, we had a serious character on our hands. Yes, we can have the crack and we can have fun and we have great nights out over the years. Once he steps over the white line, he's a, he's a different animal altogether. Well, the one word I'd describe Lee Keegan when he first came onto the, the panel in 2011 would be raw, talent, you know, he was determined and he wanted to make his, make his mark. The way he plays the game is, is so different to the way he is in person. It's like Lee likes being in close and top, yeah, forcing the issue in, in life. He's very laid back. He's just a chilled out character and it's really good for our group as a team. Yeah, he, he's one of those lads that stood out. You know, he always had the quality. He, he knew he was going to make it. Well, he's got all the attributes physically. You know, he's a very strong, able guy. He's got the pace, the stamina, the endurance, and I think, you know, that's crucially important for, for, for Crow Park. And also, he's got that mental toughness. You know, Lee Keegan will not be broken down by any opposition players. I think there's a lot of things that you need to have, especially if you're an inter-county player. And I think, you know, commitment, you know, sacrifice, self-belief, um, and an unwillingness to, to learn. I think they're, they're the key ingredients for any you know, sportsmen at, at an elite level. My first memory, I suppose, from Mayo Senior was back in 2011, so a long time ago now. I remember just coming in here and just take the atmosphere, just kind of grabbed me by surprise, to be honest. He doesn't take any prisoners. That's what I like about him. Like he'd give everything on the pitch. You know, he'd never give up. Play to the bitter end. The whole identity and the pressure that comes with Mayo football really caught me. Because I mean, anytime you get to put a Mayo jersey on in here and this in this great, great stadium, I mean, it's it's a proud day. And I've been lucky enough that I've done it on a lot of occasions, and I, I'm very aware that it's it's not something I'm take for granted. It's just some of the moments I've got to, to share with people that I, I thought I'd never even get to talk to. So I mean, from that perspective, it's been a, it's been a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant time here. But I know I'm hoping there's a few more years left to go yet. Yeah.